In this how-to video, we're going to show you how to geotag DGI video using the flight record log file. This will be the text file and a SRT file from the same flight. This is actually the, probably the easiest method of geotagging video using the flight record log file as it uh, takes the guesswork out of actually having to pick a frame and correlate that frame with a very specific uh, point on the map. So uh, if you do have the SRT file available to you along with the text file, this is going to be pr your preferred method for, for geotagging. So um, just copy this path here. And I like to come over here to the geotagging tab when I'm in the software. Uh, we can use the file menu as well, which we'll show you. But just simply go here, browse to the video, select that. Browse to the flight record log file, select that. And we can actually uh, click here, manually enter geotagging start time, and hit load files for geotagging. And because the DJI flight log was detected, uh, we get this specific message box here, uh, which is basically asking us if we'd like to use some, uh, one of these other options uh, for helping us to geotag without having to, uh, as I said before, reference a frame in the video with a specific point on a map. Because we have our SRT file, we're going to go ahead and select this option right here, auto geotagging by selecting a matching SRT file and we'll navigate to the same folder there, grab the SRT file, and auto -tag, geotag with the SRT file. And it's going to show us a preview here in yellow of what the geotag path will be, and we'll say accept auto geotagging. And there we have our geotagged video using both the flight record log file and the SRT file. Now we can also do this via the file menu. And to do that, we come up here and go File, Open, Open Video. And go to the same folder, grab our video, and we're going to grab our companion file or text uh, flight record log file in this case. Now a quick note here, uh, when you do this via the file menu, um, in order to get this box to pop up, which you do want, uh, you're going to want to set that under the options menu. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click OK here. And we'll say open for geotagging. And we say OK. And this manually enter geotagging start time is already checked there. So let's go ahead and click load files for geotagging. And then this will present us with the same option box, uh, message box we saw earlier. So again, we'll select auto geotag by selecting matching SRT file. Navigate to that SRT file. And there we go. So same results whether you go through the geotagger tab down here or you use the file uh, menu up here. Uh, again, as I mentioned briefly, under the options menu, uh, if you're going to be using the, the file menu, you're going to want to have this checked. By default, it's not checked. Uh, this just always gives you the option uh, to pick your GPS companion file. Uh, the software will often you know, pick, uh, by default, uh, a companion file that has the same name as the video file. And if that's not what you want, you're, you're going to want to have this checked. So I generally always have this checked uh, as a best practice, uh, but that's, that's up to you. But definitely do this if you're going to be uh, doing this operation here, which is geotagging DGI video using both the flight record log file and the SRT file. Well, I guess that's it. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, come back for some more tutorials soon. Thank you.